Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel from House to Homestead. Today's project is something I've been thinking about for quite a while. Um, I bought these um, really cool backsplash tiles to go here on the wall. Um, and I got them just today and I was looking at putting them up and thinking about how I wanted to put them up and this gap here behind the stove and then this open spot here on the stove when I was started thinking about putting this up I was thinking you know it would be really nice if we could just find a way to fill that in we have to have the space behind the stove because where they did the stub for the gas the propane makes it they couldn't do it in like in the wall because this wall isn't was an old exterior wall and this is all log so there's no way to create like a cutout like a niche or anything like that to stub up for the propane so they had to do it on this side of the wall so that makes it so we have to leave a gap so what we're going to do is we're going to create a frame of sorts and ledger board and some different things and we're going to put a piece we have a piece of countertop left over from when we took the kitchen apart and moved it creating our franken kitchen and we're not going to be able to build cabinets and really do the kitchen up the way we want for a while so we're just going to do a few little projects here and there to kind of make it a little nicer look a little cleaner um until we can actually fully redo the kitchen. So that's kind of prompted some of these things that we're doing today. It's a beautiful sunny day outside, but it is cold. So we're gonna work on some insides, some things that we can do inside instead of working on outside projects. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna pull the stove out. We're gonna, well, first we'll take some measurements. We're gonna pull the stove out. We're gonna put up our support boards and then we've got uh, some MDF that we're going to put here and you know kind of just cover up this part and then like I was saying we've got an old piece of countertop that we can put across the back here and kind of fill in that gap and just make it look a little nicer and then the finishing the finishing part will be to put up this um, it's actually metal pieces and put up the backsplash here on this wall and that will um, just make it look a little nicer and a little bit easier to clean up instead of this lovely um, primed wall that I have here. This seems to attract grease and tomato sauce and whatever else is on the stove like crazy. So um, yeah, anything else to add? Nope, let's get started. All right, let's do it. Okay, so what we're doing is we're gonna put a piece, uh, basically a base piece down. This will get screwed down to the floor. It's also going to have pocket holes in it that screw the, metal, the MDF to it. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is I just wanna make a mark where this is going to end up. So that way, when I move this piece, I can put it back. Um, the MDF is going to come all the way forward to basically this mark and then go up. We're going to put it up against the wall and our wall here is, it's not plumb. It basically, well, it kind of bubbles out at the bottom and then moves back this way. So we'll get our MDF about the right size, set it on the floor, then we'll take the pencil and we'll go up on the inside marking where that MDF is basically needing to be cut. That sh then we're going to also put a piece on this wall. You guys can't see it from the perspective, but we'll put a piece on this wall that the MDF will go up against. And same thing, I'm going to put pocket holes on the piece that's on the wall and it'll screw to the MDF so that hopefully that MDF will piece will be pretty solid. So I've got this. Um, I'm going to leave this here for a moment and get my marks on the wall with the piece that's going to go on the wall.
I just need to make sure it's plumb. Let's, before we pull the stove out, because the stove's where it's going to end up, let's measure the distance between the wall in here and find out how wide of a countertop piece we need. Oh yeah, between the... So that can go there. Can you hand me the tape measure, please? So it's going to be, let's do five and, or four and three quarters inches because we've got some stuff sticking out on the back of the stove. Mm -hmm. And I want. It just needs to go just under that a little bit. Right, so. but so that's where it would go. That's fine. That works. Okay. okay. And. Four and three quarter. Four and three quarter there. I'm going to measure the other side and see if that matches. Well, it doesn't. I mean, you can move the stove to make it. Four and three quarter will go under the edge of the stove there, too, if we take the countertop all the way to the wall. And I'll run this through the table saw. So it's gonna be a straight line no matter what, but this makes it so I know putting the X's, I know what materials to be removed. This is to be kept, this straight edge, you know, or this fi edge. finished edge, thank you. <clears throat> so that when it goes in, it'll go in like this. got the little piece that the countertop strip is going to sit on. So we're going to put that up first. Luckily, we can just put it to the bottom of the other piece of the countertop and I know it'll be in the right spot. Well, I made a mistake. This was supposed to be three quarters of an inch longer than I cut it. And my board stretcher is broken today, so we're gonna do something else. Um, we're gonna add a three quarter inch piece onto the end of this and glue it and screw it. And um, hopefully that will make it strong enough to, uh, to support itself and it'll be good. But yeah, um, we didn't account for this needing to go past the little board um, on the wall. So we measured it exactly to that board, but the MDF is on this side of the board. So, so anyway, we're going to put some glue on this, some glue in the middle, because these are actually 
two separate pieces of <coughs> particle board. And um, then we're gonna glue it here, drill a couple pilot holes, and use a couple two and a half inch screws to attach it. So let's get some glue in between first. Let's make sure we're putting it on the right way. Well, it's pretty close. Not perfect, but like I said, yeah, what I in this house is perfect well, see, besides us? Yeah. <laughs> Good enough. Good enough. Okay. where it stopped so Good. so when we put this piece in here ah look how nice yay so it'll actually be up a little more like that because it'll be resting on the MDF and uh, yeah, so it sticks out the proper amount, so the MDF will go under it, over, up, and over. Awesome. So, I like it. Cool. So, what did you do with the board there? This? Yep. So, I cut the top. So it's the right height. I actually trimmed out a little off the bottom first um, so that it sat a little flatter. And then um, we put it up against the stove and I made a little mark back here so I know where it's gonna go. I also trimmed about that much off the end so that it's not resting up on the carpet at the bottom. And so now what we need to do is position it so that I can get the contour of the wall marked and then I can cut the contour of the wall. And it's just a little tight back here with this gas line. Which is off at the moment. So I'll cut that with the jigsaw and then um, that will slide and match the wall perfectly. At least it should. That's the theory. That's the theory. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh. Careful. Move the board. <laughs> then you have some place to go. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So that line now should match up to the wall. And when I cut it, I'll, uh, I'll be able to just put it up against the wall. 
Cool. Then we'll be able to screw it in, or you can paint it and then we can screw it. But. Sorry, I was focused on something else. <laughs> focused on the dirt <laughs> on the board. And I was trying to decide if I wanted to come out to the shop and sand it really quick and kind of get it clean before it makes another trip back in here. Yeah, we can do that. So, my apologies <laughs> for having the camera on your tummy. <laughs> uh, she's always looking at the thing she wants to look at. She's not looking at the screen on the camera to see where it's pointing. So that's why we get a lot of the um, looking down here and look, <laughs> talking about something that's up there. Okay, let's go cut this. Right, so we got the MDF cut out. Uh, in case you got it all sanded up pretty nice, everything else should be covered up easily with paint, paint and primer. And um, let's see how it fits. Eh, it didn't cut the straightest line, but that's because the wall isn't straight, so I had to do it with the jigsaw. But you're going to run some caulk on that? Mm-hmm. Okay. So the caulk will cover that up. So that is where that will go. And then I think we probably need a little shim in there. as it was supposed to have. <laughs> well, but it's on all along it's this on edge, this though. wood. So that wood, we cut this mm -hmm. down below the level somehow. Yeah. And so that wood is Okay, and then we'll need to shim down at the other end as well. No. Or I think it shim. I think it'll be fine. It's just a little below the lip. But Sweet. Well, we'll all, I'll climb in there and get some pocket screws in. Or do you want to paint it and then we'll... No, I'll just paint it in place. Sure? Yeah. Okay. Sure, hope I got the right... Um, okay, let's see you to hold. Okay. Don't screw my toe. It didn't poke through, did it? Nope. Okay.
want it. Oh my goodness. That thing is slippery. <laughs> I'm too big for little places like this. Right, the moment of truth. Do you want to turn the gas line on first? Thank you. <laughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. Wow. We did it. We did it. Good job, honey. Thanks. Well, right. we'll get that all painted up and uh, we'll show you what it looks like here at the end of the video. And, uh, but that's going to be it for today. <sighs> it's nice to have that done. It is. Thank you. No problem. It already looks better even unfinished like that. I know. All right. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a good day and we'll catch you in the next video.